Hey everyone, so there are so many people in my life that I could have chosen to do a tribute speech on, but the one person in my life who has been the greatest influence and I look up to the most would most definitely have to be my grandfather on my dad's side. Um, his name is Benigno Garcia, and I'm going to give you a little backstory on his life. Uh, he was born in Cuba. His dad was in the Cuban military, and my grandfather was not the biggest fan of Fidel Castro, so he started an anti-Castro group with some of his friends, which um, they got word of and ended up putting them in prison. <laughs> um, and some of their tasks during um, the time that they were in prison were to go on these boats to the different little islands around Cuba that they owned um, and do work on them. That was like part of their punishment. One day they decided to throw the guard overboard and the person that was driving the boat overboard and they hijacked the boat and went on their way not knowing which direction they were going in. They had no idea because most of the um, country of Cuba is illiterate and their schooling is not the best so they had no idea where they were going and most people would go to florida they didn't know where florida was they just kind of went straight until they hit some land they ended up in mexico a couple of weeks later because they were on a little small boat my grandpa when he landed in mexico um was 80 pounds at the age of 21 and he was about 5'7 so he was tiny they had no food or water while they were on the boat in fact some of the people that were on the boat ended up not making it um to mexico alive so that was tough and he stayed in mexico for about a year because he had absolutely no money couldn't go anywhere um, so he worked there, and he ended up having a daughter in Mexico, worked there until he could get some money, left because his dream was to go to America and make a life for himself. So he went to New York with his friends and got his American citizenship, and um, a few months after being in New York, he actually met my grandmother, who had just come from El Salvador, um, trying to get her citizenship as well they met fell in love ended up moving to california where they had my dad and then my aunt um he worked his butt off in california to create this life for him and his family because he didn't want them to experience anything that he experienced living in cuba he actually did have two daughters that he did leave behind in cuba he did try to send them money to um, move to America, but Cuba wouldn't let them move to America. So he was able to move them to Spain, where they still live. And so he tried his best to take care of them as much as possible. And in, while he was in California, he was just he was a family man. He, um, everyone around him looked up to him. He was just such a nice, sweet guy. And he was always just the nice person. He would lend money out, not expecting anything in return. Um, I love him so much. Like, I just, I look up to him so much. Um, and one of the biggest reasons why I love him is he's actually the one who convinced my dad to stay in my life because... Sadly, my parents were not together when um, they had me. Uh, they were very young, they were like 20. And my dad was just a scared 20 year old who didn't have much money and was like, there's no way I can be a dad. And he was gonna just bounce. And my grandpa was like, nope, that's not okay. That is your child. You are gonna be in her life. Um, so if it wasn't for him, my dad wouldn't be in my life, and now my dad and I have a great relationship, which is awesome. Um, so I really, really thank my grandpa for that, for just, like, 
pointing my dad in the right direction and being like, nope, you gotta take care of your responsibilities. Um, he is the greatest. Sadly, he passed away about eight years ago, so I only really did get to spend a um, couple of years of my life with him, but those years that I did spend with him were amazing. He adored me, and we had the greatest times together. Um, he just all around was the best person I could ever ask for in my life, and yeah, so that's my grandpa, and I love him, and I miss him. Rest in peace, Oello.